Hi, and welcome to the first video in a brand new exciting series on Network Plus. My name is Scott Ford, and I'm gonna be your guide through this interesting but somewhat challenging certification. Hello and welcome to the very first video in the Network Plus series. My name is Scott Ford and I am going to present to you the information you need not just to become certified as a Network Plus networking technician, but also how to set up networks for yourself, for customers, or just for fun. Now before we begin talking about what Network Plus is or certifications or the geeky part, it's always a good idea to get an idea of who your instructor is. Well, as I said, my name is Scott Ford, and I've been teaching at the K-12 college and professional levels for over 14 years. I spent four years in Humble ISD, that's a little town northeast of Houston, teaching A-plus computer repair where the curriculum I developed, as well as the training that I did for high school students and college students, got us over a 95% pass rate. On average, I would get 30 to 40 students certified every school year. This was a record-breaking number in the state of Texas, as well as several other areas. I then went on to develop and train a certification and Network Plus certification for the FBI Cyber and the FBI CART divisions. I've also had the pleasure of developing and training DEA agents and computers as well as the U.S. intelligence communities. Currently, I am developing this course, Network Plus course, as well as other courses for Lone Star College in computers. I have years of educational experience and more important, I remember what it was like to work on my certifications. If you go online or look around, you'll find that there's no shortage of certification materials. But if you're trying to land a job, $500 to $1,000 for materials, well, it might as well be about a million dollars because if you're looking for a job, you can't afford that. What we're going to do is I present half of the material free right here on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button right now. The other portion, the entire course, will be available exclusively on my member site, MrFordsClass.net. Membership is only $15 a month, and there are other deals if you go three months or six months. Let's get going by talking about computer certification. What is computer certification? If you have a doctor or a lawyer, they have to go to specific schools to get an MD, a DO, or a JD. MD, DO, or doctors, and JD are lawyers. They have recognized programs. They are certified by different governing agencies that put credentials and regulate colleges around America as well as around the globe. In education, for example, I am a certified teacher. I have a master's degree in educational technology, and I'm certified in the state of Texas to teach technology from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. I have a master's degree in education. I have a certification from the state of Texas saying that I can teach children. But what about IT work? What is there to say that you know how to fix a computer? What is there to say that you know how to fix a network? What is out there to say that you can do various IT jobs? Historically, it's been kind of a crapshoot. We really didn't know how to say this person was qualified to do that. This is where computer certifications come in. Now, I am very realistic in how I'm going to present this material. I am very realistic about the field out there. I am not going to tell you that a certification is a panacea. I'm not going to tell you that a certification is going to take care of all your woes. But it is a way, although maybe not a perfect way, to help employers understand who are who is qualified to do certain jobs. Now does that mean some people are unqualified to get certifications? Well yeah. It doesn't matter what field you are. There are plenty of unqualified people in positions that, let's be honest, they don't belong in. But certification helps weed out at least a low-hanging fruit. So a computer certification allows us to have some confidence in a person's ability to do specific jobs in the IT world. Now colleges and trade schools have gotten better over the years. In fact, Lone Star Community College has an AAS degree, which is a two-year vocational trade program 
where you can learn video production, web design, computer maintenance, all these things. The certification, however, and the degree is only as good as the college that offers it. So not only do you have to sell yourself in a job interview, you have to sell the program that you went through. And by the way, Lone Star has a fantastic program, and I'm not just saying that because I'm working for them. Other colleges and universities, you might have more difficulty. So for example, let's say that you did live in Houston and you got a certification from, let's say, Houston Community College or San Jack Community College or Lone Star Community College and then move to, let's say, Nebraska or you move to New Zealand or Australia. You then have to sell that person on a degree plan from a college they may never even heard of. Computer certifications are industry-wide. They are created by different industries out there and we call them industry certifications. Other companies that make them, for example, Microsoft has a list of certifications that they offer. CompTIA, which is the focus of these videos for the Network Plus program, Dell, Adobe, Apple, Novell, and a whole bunch of other companies offer specific certifications that are recognized industry-wide. So while some company in New Zealand or Australia might not recognize Houston Community College or San Jack or Lone Star, they recognize Microsoft. They're using Windows. They recognize Dell because Dell is everywhere. So they recognize the industries. So why get certified? If I just said they're not a perfect thing, why bother getting certified? Because some companies won't even interview you without a certification. One of the things I like to do whenever I'm teaching students is I like to share personal experiences from my past. One such experience, although not a positive experience, occurred when I went to go apply with Dell. Back in 2001, out here in Houston, Enron went belly up. And that left about 5,000 people in a weekend unemployed here in Houston. Dell, which was based in Austin, decided to do a humongous hiring fair. And so they took out like an entire floor of a hotel and they advertised and advertised that there's going to be a huge hiring and all this fun stuff. And I remember standing in line with my new A plus certification with people who had been in the career field for 10, 15, 20 years. I remember one person in front of me who had over 20 years as a network administrator of a fairly large company. When he came to the desk with the HR person from Dell, the first question that Dell person said was, do you have an A-plus certification? He had all his years of experience. He was competent to do the job. He could have done the job, but he didn't have the A-plus certification, and the Dell HR person told that person very politely to take a hike. They wouldn't interview him. Now, sadly, all the positions were for help desk support. So, this occurs here, okay? This happens out there. Sometimes you won't even get a foot in the door, no matter what you know, no matter how good you are, if you don't have a piece of paper saying that you know this specific skill. Certification can also make you more competitive on the job market. Keep in mind, certifications in many cases are the baseline. So if you don't have a certification, you're automatically excluded from pools that are requiring that certification. So you really need to get a certification if you get into the IT industry. Some promotions are tied directly into certifications. Over the last four years working with the federal government, I've seen many contractors as well as federal employees who were held up by a promotion because they lacked a specific certification. So some promotions are tied directly into a certification. And finally, there is some personal gratification about having a certification. Educational learning is not always about the bottom line. Sometimes education training is about the fun of learning new material. So basically what I'm saying to you is, if you're going to work in the IT field, certification is mandatory. You have to get it. So we've talked about what is certification, why get certification. Let's talk f next about who CompTIA is, because they're the ones who have created the Network Plus exam. CompTIA stands for Computing Technology Industry Association. They are a nonprofit industry trade association based out of Illinois with offices all around the world. They were created back in 1982. And almost every company, whether they make hardware or software, is involved in CompTIA in some form or another. Now, before I end this 
particular video, what I like to do is break down each video into bite-sized chunks. We learn and we know about adult education that attention waxes and wanes. It goes up and it goes down. By giving you 10 minute chunks or less, this allows you to take a break, go to the bathroom, come back, play another video, grab some coffee, take a break, etc, etc. So from here on out, I'm going to try to keep the videos around 10 minutes, no longer than 15 minutes. Some videos might be shorter. So in our next video, we're going to talk about what is this Network Plus certification.